culture of trust enhances performance. This does take a considerable investment of our most important commodity, and that is time. In a community, and certainly a tight-knit community like mine, developing a culture of trust and relationship building was a priority. Modelling personal integrity and commitment to our staff and community was at the forefront, aligning my behaviours and actions. All staff members bring with them unique self-strength that they do naturally. It's in their DNA and it's who they are. There are moments as a leader that we look for, we see and harness these natural strengths in our site members and use this as the foundation to build relationships so that a safe learning space is created, removing barriers so that knowledge is learnt together and skills are refined. Developing complementary knowledge and skills stretch us all and it is this broader collective capability that will positively impact our students' learning and achievement. The responsibility for assisting to build trust between teachers was important. This was done by providing the time, conditions and expectations for teachers to engage in collaborative relationships. Noticing the things that get in the way of a learning culture, like factions, as they could have developed by a sense of a loss or change. By this I mean whether it was a loss or change to a program or leaders, so I work with team members to create a safe space for teachers to voice and exchange their ideas and share knowledge, to listen and work together to improve professional practice that ultimately supports our drivers for continuous improvement. It brings coherence and enhances student achievement. Every interaction, no matter how large or small, is an opportunity to build confidence for staff, to work towards our improvement goals, building the relationship and trust so staff are open to be challenged for success. And if we embrace the small risks that have failed along the way, we learn so much more. These are safe conditions for making mistakes and learning from others. Staff always remember those that have challenged them whilst providing the appropriate development opportunities with clearly defined expectations and goals. Why? Because this is where their greatest learning may have occurred. So the overarching aspects that are important in my work are firstly, a culture of trust enhanced performance. This takes the resource and investment of time. Secondly, modelling actions and behaviours being the change I want to see. Thirdly, strength based first, identifying professional strengths in order to stretch and build complementary skills and knowledge. Lastly, the role of the leadership team creating conditions for a learning culture, building confidence to improve outcomes for every student, goals and clear expectations for all staff.